Let us examine these questions we came out in this year's 2022 P6 SA1 examination. This is a five mark question and I like parents and students to take a careful examination of these questions which can learn from the careless mistakes of these students. So in this question, it states that Sarah set up the experiment below. She wanted to make an electromagnet using aluminum nail, using the aluminum nail. At the beginning, the aluminum did not attract the magnet. So first of all, they need to study this. This is aluminum nail. And they say that the aluminum nail did not attract the magnet. Apart from the force exerted by the spring on the magnet, so actually this force is the elastic spring force. Name another force that is also acting on the magnet. So this student is very sharp. She get the answer gravitational force. But let's look at the other students why they made careless mistake. And this student also is very sharp. He or she made the correct answer. Next. Okay, this student is careless. The student wrote magnetic force because here is stated carefully. The aluminum nail did not attract the magnet, so it cannot be magnetic force. So this is one careless mistake we spotted. And also, this student get it correct. Get gravitational force. Gravitational force, yes, very good. And this student actually, at first, she wrote gravitational, but she cancelled. And she wrote magnetic and she get it wrong. Minus one mark. And also this student minus one mark. And also this student minus one mark. So it's very important they do annotation because if they have annotated, the aluminum nail did not attract the magnet, so they would not have made this careless mistake. Okay, let's continue to see part two. Part two it says that Sarah noticed that the nail could not attract magnet M. She then made a change to her setup and the nail could attract magnetic M. Okay, here you take note, there are actually two things to focus, and this is two marks. So one mark will be awarded for the first part. State the change she has made. Explain your answer. So my objective to show parents this is to, to show you that some students have made the first part correct, they will get one mark, and they did not answer the second part. So out of two marks, they will get one mark. Okay, this student, she answered very well. That's why she was awarded two marks. She answered by saying, she changed the aluminum nail to an iron one. Since iron is magnetic and aluminum is not, thus the iron nail would be able to attract the magnet. So the one mark is awarded to state the change. So she stated the change very clearly, changed the aluminum nail to an iron nail or to an iron one. And the explanation for this is because aluminum is non-magnetic. Iron is magnetic. Okay, let's see the other student. Okay, this student simply stated, uh, you can see the student wrote, change the aluminum to an iron nail. So she only get one mark because she did not explain. And let's see this student why she only, she got minus half. She, so she lost half mark. Okay, her answer was, she changed the aluminum nail into a magnetic material. As aluminum is non-magnetic, and thus, the nail could be turned into electromagnetic. Actually, she is very careless because aluminium is non-magnetic. So the nail could not be turned into electromagnetic. So she got minus half mark due to her carelessness. Another student also lost half a mark. She mentioned she changed the aluminium nail into an iron nail. So she stated correctly, get a one mark. As iron is magnetic material, it is able to be magnetized and become an electromagnetic because she did not answer this part. Aluminium is non-magnetic, hence it cannot be magnetized. Okay, let's see this student, totally two marks off being deducted. And this student got the wrong concept. The answer was she brought the magnet, she brought the nail closer to the magnet so that the nail's magnetism could reach the magnet and attract it. So totally out of point. This student got a very good marks. She answered very well, so she got a full marks. And this is a very good model answer. She changed the material of the nail. Aluminium is non-magnetic and cannot be magnetized. 
So by changing the material of the nail with a magnetic material, it can become electromagnetic and attract M. Okay, notice here she mentioned change to a magnetic material, but she did not actually give an example of the magnetic material. So this depends on the school, and that's why standardization of a prelim marking is important. If the school or SEAB accept, as long as the student identify change the magnetic material, they will award the marks. Otherwise, they must state perhaps the four magnetic material, be it steel, nickel, cobalt, or iron. And this student is very careless. I empathize with her. Okay, she mentioned she changed the nail use. Aluminium is non is not an electrical conductor. So this magnetism has nothing to do with whether it is electrical conductor or not. Okay, so this point is out of point, okay? And the nail could be magnetic. So this is our point. So she says she changed the nail to a material that has electrical conductor. So this reinforces that she don't understand the concept. Because to make a magnetic material, to make an electromagnetic, we need to use only a magnetic material and not whether it is a conductor of electricity or not. So this is a wrong concept. So do take note, this student, to be careful. And this student, actually, she wrote, Sarah changed the material of the nail to a magnetic material which allows the nail to be attracted by the magnet. Okay, because she did not explain. Okay, she only stated the changes. Change to a magnetic material because she lost one mark by not giving the explanation. Okay, let's continue part C. As you know, this is a very good five mark questions and I encourage students and parents to use this example to train students for their alertness. Okay, actually this table is also something I believe the examiner put it, but in order to be fair to the student, I think that they should mention, Sarah modified the experiments and made the following uh, records. Because from here, you can see that this part they say, the nail could not attract the magnet. Okay, the nail could not attract the magnet, so they change it to a magnetic substance. So if attract the magnet, it means that this part, the distance will decrease. Because if I change to the iron nail, if this iron nail can be an electromagnet, you attract magnet M, this you will pull it down, right? So the spring, the extension to be longer. But actually, if the student is not careful, and I think the SUG should make some changes and explain to student to be more careful. If I'm the setter, I would say that Sarah had modified the experiment and made the following observations. Because you can see here, as the number of coils increases, the length of the spring decreases. So this indicates that when this is changed to a magnetic material, be it steel, it means that this is a light pole with this. Okay, This electromagnet has a light pole facing this and you will repel the magnet causing this extension of the spring to decrease as being shown in this table. So there are some students, they are not careful, so they, they thought that it's continuing to be attracted. So in this questions, explain her observation. So this student mentioned, as the coil around the nail increases, the length of spring decreases. So she has actually made the correct observation but she did not explain correctly because she mentioned as the magnet is attracting it. Okay, actually the magnet is not attracting, it's repelling it. Okay, so this must be very careful. And this student actually wrote and she got also she got a full marks. Congratulations. Okay, as the number of coils of wire around the nail increases the length of spring decreases. So she made the correct observation. And let's see her explanation. As the number of coils increases, as you can see here, the magnetism of the nail increases because this is a concept where they learned. So the magnetic, so the magnetic M would be repelled. Okay, she used the right word, would be repelled. And the length of spring decrease. Excellent. So this is an excellent answer for this student and let's see the next student this student get a uh, half mark being deducted because of this uh, 
this controversial statement which I mentioned. So she wrote, as the number of coils around the nail increased, the length of spring decreased. So correct observation, yes. When there are more coils around the wire, more electricity can run through the nail. Actually, this one uh, is not necessary. Causing, causing what? Causing it to have more magnetic force or stronger magnetic force. Okay, this part she wrote, uh, attracting and more. Okay, this is the part where she was careless. It's not attracting, it's repelling. So that's why she get half mark deducted. Okay, next one. Okay, as I mentioned, as I, as I annotated here, I say that actually for science paper, the student need to have very clear thinking during examinations. So it's important to have sufficient rest. Because as I mentioned, this part, right, talk about attraction and suddenly they change to repulsion. So some students, if they are not careful, in fact, many of them, they are not careful. They thought that this is the same experimental setup. But due to a scientific uh, analysis, the polarity of this electromagnet has been reversed. It has been reversed. So instead of attraction, it becomes a repulsion. So you can see, as the number of coils increase, the length of spring decrease because the light pole of this so-called magnetized nail is repelling the magnet. So once again, you can screenshot this and see why this student get minus one mark because the student mentioned pull it towards itself. It's not pull it, it's being repelled. Okay, next also repulsion. Okay, this student got it very good. So this is a moral answer. As the greater the number of coils of wire around the nail, the stronger the electromagnetic, the greater the pushing of repulsion force repelling the magnetic. So it is good that this student mentioned repelling magnetic M. Hence, the length of spring decrease. So this will be awarded the full two marks. Okay, this student messed up everything. Okay, you can see the messed up answer. And I will not elaborate. This student, no explanation. So totally minus two marks. Although this part is correct. Can you see? The more coils there are, the shorter the spring. Okay, but no explanation being given. Because the question is explain her observation. Okay, this is what we call uh, state the observation. Okay, but the question is not state the observation. The question is explain her observation. So although she wrote something that is visibly correct, but did not answer the question, so no marks given. So out of five marks, this student only get one mark. Okay, so actually this student, uh, which I will keep the student's name uh, confidential, but he or she need to be more careful. And this one again, once again, wrong observation because talk about repulsion. And this student mentioned about attraction. Can you see here? They say the nail would the nail would stretch the spring more. Okay, it's not stretch, uh, it's repel. So wrong observation, also wrong explanation. So once again, uh, as I explained, this is a five mark question. So out of this student, which I've analyzed, this student scored the most marks. The student get four and a half out of five. So it's possible to get five marks because if this student have just written one short sentence here, aluminum is non-magnetic. Hence, it cannot be magnetized. This student will be awarded the full five mark questions. So what I'm doing now is actually the analysis of this year 2022 PSLE. Uh, science essay one. I will be also doing the prelim uh, analysis to help students to be exposed to tri tricky questions so that they can be more prepared for the final battle, the 2022 PSLE science, as well as those students in P5 this year. Because as you know, primary five has very important content which prepare the student well for the coming year PSLE science examinations. In fact, in the PSLE examinations, up to 65% of the content are from P3 to P5. So I wish every parent well and students do consider to continue be trained by Mr. Howard Yu in my One Academy training. And those of you who can't come, you can consider the online lessons 
on Saturday, but this year is only for P6. But I'll be having intensive training. Actually, there's one tomorrow and on a Friday. It's a two-day course for this year's the final week of June holiday. And students out there, P4, P5, do uh, stay in tune to my YouTube. Subscribe and like to be informed of coming up intensive training courses. Thank you. Stay safe. God bless.